Okay, video number 73, um, mental note time is what it amounts to. Um, where's my light? Here's my light. What I am learning, I've seen in videos, and they're coming truer today than they have before, and that is when you have a crack. Uh, like a spider web crack like I had on the other side. What happens is you go to sand out the crack and what pops up is these pits. Well, more than likely, those are manufacturer defects that um, were under there that kind of made it weak. So whenever th something got bumped against it, it made it crack easier. This one is one that I didn't want to sand that much out of. So I sanded until I was not happy and then I got the um, Dremel out and kept going. And right there, it looks pretty solid to me in there. I think we're down past the dry uh, layup and into the uh, solid stuff there. I tried my idea down here once. It appears to work with the Dremel as far as um, getting back down to solid without taking out all of the fiberglass. Um, how I'm going to put that back together how many of those cracks I'm going to do like that. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, but that's a idea that I tried and it seems to be working. The swim platform that I found used uh, was uh, it is on another boat. And it, I had to measure it. It was 15 inches center to center on the bolt holes. And, it, uh, and that's what mine is. So that part matches. The angle on my boat, perpendicular to the floor is uh, the bottom kicking in and the top kicking out. And I'm gonna guess and say if that were a level straight up and down, perpendicular to the floor, there's probably an inch and a half to the bottom bolt. So that is something I need to examine. I need to uh, go back out there and look at that platform again uh, or at least make sure of it before I take it off on the day I go out there. I'm not going to make a special trip out there but I, I made my notes, I got my video and on the day I go out there I'll recall this video and see if it is in fact the same platform or if the pitch is different on the bolt holes and if it's different uh, because it is a different boat um, then I need to question whether or not I can make a mounting plate to go behind it uh, or whether I need to just start over. Um, I know the handles won't be correct because it's a different boat, which means I would have to make different handles. But the biggest part, the, the hardest part to get is the swim platform. So um, handles may be fabricated later out of stainless steel and some things I have to learn how to bend stainless steel and all that fun stuff. But the platform, I hope, is correct, but I don't know. I, I, part of me thinks that the angle might be incorrect. I'm going to have to double check that. In any event, uh, we're having fun. Uh, where are we at? We're at the back of the windshield now. My arm is kind of getting a little tired, uh, but it's only 1130, and I um, am on a break. And I took a little break, uh, went out and drank some coffee and laid down a little bit in the truck. Uh, so I came back and did some more, and I'm going to get ready to do some more. And my initial goal will be that center part of the windshield. However, if I could make it to the front of the windshield, that would be great. And, you know, when I look at that, I don't see a lot of deep sanding other than on these freaking uh, glue stripes. Those things are the hardest things about sanding it. I got past the imperfections area back there and up here it looks pretty good. So that part may go faster, but the glue stripes are a bit challenging. Um, but in any event, I'm going to stop there. I mean, I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to uh, start sanding and I'm going to shoot for the front of the windshield or at least the middle of the windshield before I say my arm's too tired and it's time to go home. I'm feeling pretty good. Back's feeling good. Uh, I'm fed and I uh, have coffee in me and I had rest and uh, 
uh, yeah, this is going good. I'm, I'm going to just keep after it and see how far I get today. Have a great day.